first and foremost, our, our good friend, uh, Ambassador Laurie Fulton, former ambassador of the US to uh, Denmark. Please, please welcome her to the stage. Thank you, Emre. Ramadan Kareem, I have to give a special thanks to Rumi Forum and to Emre for including me on the Sohar breakfast list this year. I was not invited last year. <laughs> I d Emre says he's upgrading the list. Very diplomatic of him. I had the pleasure and the extreme honor of being the United States Ambassador to Denmark during President Obama's first term. And during those years, before that and since that, I've had the opportunity to host and attend many iftars. This is my first sahur, so thank you, Emre. As I received my invitation to this breakfast from Rumi Forum, I started to reflect on the importance of shared meals. It's a very important part of the religious culture of the three main religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. If you look at the history, of course, the Israelites living in Egypt were commanded to eat a communal meal. If you look at Christianity, we think of the Lord's Supper as an example and something that we celebrate a breaking of the bread in the Eucharist. And in Islam, we appreciate the shared meals during the holy month of Ramadan and other holy days and feast days. So it's not just, though, the religious culture. It is part of our culture. I remember reading about a year ago a study done by, um, I believe it was Notre Dame, where they found a correlation between adults who, as children, ate shared meals with their family and often with extended family, and some of their traits as adults, including generosity, altruism, and ability to interact with other people. Think about now today, looking at the young people here, and the other aspects of our shared economy. Shared meals is one of them. Think of the trendy communal tables at many of the restaurants. And I think there's a real underlying purpose to these shared meals. And again, thank you, Emre, for including me in this one. Because it gives us an opportunity to get acquainted, to know more about each other, and to enjoy life. So thank you. 